cooperation between the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports of the Republic of India and the Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Republic of Indonesia. This will be exchanged on the Indonesian side by, by Ms. Retno Marsudi, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Indonesia, and on the Indian side by Sri Piyush Goel, Minister of State Independent Charge for Power, Coal, MNRE, and Mines. Thank you. The second document is the joint communique on the voluntary international cooperation to combat illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing and to promote sustainable fisheries, fisheries governance between the Government of Republic of India and the Government of the Republic of Indonesia. This will be exchanged on the Indonesian side by Ms. Retno Marsudi, Minister of Foreign Affairs and on the Indian side by Sri Anil Madhav Dave, Minister of State Independent Charge for Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Thank you. The third and final MOU on standardization, cooperation between the Bureau of Indian Standards of the Republic of India and the National Standardization Agency of the Republic of Indonesia to be exchanged on the Indonesian side by Her Excellency Ms. Retno Marsudi, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and on the Indian side by Sri Piyush Gol, MOS, Power Core, MNRE, and Mines. <laughs> Excellencies, this concludes the exchange of agreement ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have press statements by the two leaders. May I first invite the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narin Modiji, to deliver his press remarks. Your Excellency, President Joko Vidado, distinguished delegates, friends from the media, at the outset, I wish to express our sincere condolences on the loss of life due to the recent earthquake in Aceh. Friends, I am honored to welcome President Joko Vidodo on his first state visit to India. I had first met President Vidodo in November 2014 at Naipito and had discussed at length how our partnership could be of benefit to us and the region. Excellency, you are the leader of a great nation. At the world's most populous Muslim nation, Indonesia stands for democracy, diversity, pluralism, and social harmony. These are also our values. Our nations and scientists societies have nurtured strong bonds of commerce and culture throughout our history. We live in a geography that is at the center of our rapid political, economic, and strategical challenges currently underway in the world. Your visit allowed us to impart vigor and momentum to our strategic partnership and shape our convergences to act as a force of peace, prosperity, and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Friends, Indonesia is one of India's most valued partners in our Act East policy. It is the largest economy in Southeast Asia, and India is one of the fastest growing large economies in the world. At two large democracies and major emerging economies, we have shared economic and strategic interests. We also face common concerns and challenges. 
my extensive conversation with President Joko Widodo today focus on the full range of our cooperation. We agreed to prioritize defense and security cooperation at two important maritime nations that are also neighbors. We agreed to cooperate to ensure the safety and security of the sea lanes in disaster response and environmental protection. The joint statement on maritime cooperation outlines the agenda of our engagement in this field. Our partnership will also extend to combating terrorism, organized crime, drugs, and human trafficking. Friends, President and I also agreed to build a strong economic and development partnership that strengthens the flow of ideas, trade, capital and people between our two countries. I agreed with President Bidodo to encourage Indian companies to work closely with Indonesia in the field of pharmaceuticals, IT, software, and skill development. Also, at two developing countries, we also decided to move on infrastructure development and two-way investment flows, leveraging our respective capabilities. In this regard, the CEO's forum should take the lead in identifying new avenues of wider and deeper industry-to-industry -industry engagement. We also agree that early implementation of India-ASEAN free trade agreement in services and investment and finalization of the regional comprehensive economic partnership would be important step in this regard. We also underscore the importance of deepening our two decades old valuable cooperation in the field of space. To sustain the momentum of our partnership, President Bidodo and I have directed for an early meeting of the existing ministerial level mechanism to carry forward the bilateral cooperation agenda. Friends, ties of history and strong cultural links between our societies are our shared heritage. The President and I agreed on the importance of stimulating research on our historical linkages and agreed to speed up the establishment of chairs of Indian and Indonesian studies in each other's universities. We also agreed to expand our scholarship and training programs. The importance of improving direct connectivity and people-to-people -people contacts is well known. And in this respect, we welcome Garuda Indonesia's decision to commence direct flight to Mumbai. Excellency, I thank once again for your visit. I share with you the strong intent to take our bilateral engagement to a new level. And I'm confident that our discussions and the agreements that we have signed today will help shape an action agenda and aid new direction and intensity to our strategic engagement. Before I conclude, to all our friends in Indonesia, I would like to wish Salamat, Mamparingati, Hari Raya, Maulid Nabi Muhammad. Thank you. May I now invite His Excellency Mr. Joko Widodo, President of the Republic of Indonesia, to deliver his press remarks. 
Thank you very much, Your Excellency Prime Minister Narinda Modi. It is an honor for me to fulfill the invitation from Prime Minister Modi to visit India. India is an important partner for Indonesia. Our relation and cooperation in politics, economic, and social culture are strong. In today's meeting, we thoroughly discuss our effort to increase economic cooperation. Indonesia wishes to increase trade. Indonesia also wishes to diversify its export products to India. We also discuss effort to increase investment cooperation. Indonesia invites India to increase investment cooperation in pharmaceutical, IT, and automotive. I welcome the signing of MOU in trade standardization, and I'm confident that it will increase trade. In order to support economic cooperation and people-to-people -people contact, I'm happy to announce that Garuda Indonesia, starting today, will fly directly to Mumbai from Jakarta. In the meeting, we also exchange views on the current global situation. As two great democratic countries, Indonesia and India can contribute greatly toward the maintenance of regional and global peace and security. I thank you. I thank the two leaders for their statements. This concludes the joint press briefing. Thank you all.